Good evening. I've written about MEXP markers in the past, but since it seems like some of you guys still have some questions, I thought a video might help clear some things up. Sometimes it's easier to demonstrate things with a video than it is to do so with photos. Um, I highly recommend you search my blog for MEXP markers before you send me any questions, um, and preferably before you watch this video. So if you haven't done that, click on the annotation, and it should take you there. There is the direct comparison where I compare MEXP markers to Copic uh, sketch markers, and there is also um, a post where I revisit MEXP and Shinhan Twin Touch um, a little bit more in depth. Okay. And uh, this is actually the image from that. Um, this was done a couple of years ago just to kind of demonstrate their performance. So um, click on those annotations and that should take you to the to those posts. So MEXP markers are an alcohol-based twin tip marker. And um, one end has, well, okay, so they're available in two styles. You can get the bullet nib style or you can get the brush nib style. And of course, I ordered the brush nib style because that's what I vastly prefer. So one end has a brush tip. Ugh, it will not focus. And the other end has a chisel tip. And um, these markers are supposedly refillable, although I haven't seen refills anywhere. Um, and they're actually getting increasingly hard to find. Dick Blick used to carry them. Now Dick Blick no longer carries them. I think you can find them on the MEXB website, but um, your availability may be limited. What I own in my collection is a set of toner grays, which um, come in a plastic case like this. There's 12 of them. And I, I went with toner grays because it was a color family I don't own in Copic or in Twin Touch. So um, when I l like markers decently well, I use them to augment my Copic collection. And I also have um, some various colors, which I had initially purchased to complete the my, how I used to do marker testing, which um, I basically get a handful of colors and I swatch them. I think my current testing method is much more indicative, or um, I'm sorry, is better at demonstrating whether or not markers are useful for illustration in your life. But um, this method worked well and it was affordable. Um, so unlike many of the brands I've reviewed, MexB does have a colorless blender. And um, it has color families and color names. And the color families from MEXB are actually very easy to understand. R for red, C for cyan, P for purple, Y for yellow, etc. Um, so it's it, they're very easy color families, unlike some other markers I reviewed. So if you still have any questions about MEXB markers that my blog posts haven't answered and um, this video didn't answer, please send me an email or leave a comment and I'll try to address those questions directly. Have a good afternoon. Bye guys.